There are fears all over the country yesterday. What will happen to domestic prices of goods at the store or wherever you shop from the roadside to the big supermarkets as petrol prices now has a new brand level? Ada Konobi joins us from Financial Derivatives Company. She's, the, she's a senior investment officer. Good morning. Good morning, Bruce. As at this morning, well... Prices hasn't really moved up. Yeah. Not yet. I mean, pastries like meat pies mm -hmm. and things like that, whatever. So, so, so how soon do you think uh, that the current regime of guided petrol deregulation will begin to feed into the food shelf? Okay. As we have now, prices are high compared to what it was last month, about 45% high. A lot of consumers are complaining for high prices. Uh, you said that prices of food items are not high yet, but then transport costs are already beginning, uh, already getting high. But that's the first, Ex yeah. usually the first stop. Exactly. Yes. So transportation costs will be, is, is getting high. A lot of, uh, um, they're already pricing it into get, letting their customers letting them know ahead of time that you know we're going to increase uh, the cost of transportation which will automatically or somewhat increase uh, prices of food items in the in, in the long run so it is already slowly creeping into um the, the market reality uh, as it is we, we, we have a major problem on our hands here you find the earnings from the crude oil is being shot in yes. because of the vandals and the theft and what have you mm -hmm. then you have price of petrol being well guided yeah. so in a manner of speaking a bit of liberalization there so if we put all of this together uh inflation for april we're expecting that between now and the weekend yes then from where we are right now it looks like the month of may will be something too hot to handle we Is expect it? It? we expect uh, this to stoke inflationary pressure in the near mid medium term um however um we I mean we can see that the Labour Congress is looking for an increase uh, in minimum wage because consumers cannot actually it's really really bad out there on the streets consumers cannot afford to pay for food items anymore the price of tomato has gone over the roof price of rice beans baby food white electronics uh, services transportation costs so it's really really it's really really um, is really really it's biting. is biting the average Nigerian and like I said the previous uh, previously 65 percent live 65 percent of the total population live below the poverty line so you know there's a massive income inequality in in, in Nigeria so um, but then uh, the government the slow um, disbursement of funds uh, of the uh, well the 2016 budget is supposed to be budget of stimulus anyway so it's supposed to drive economic growth in the in, in the long run so if that's funds if, if the funds are slowly uh, injected if liquidity is slowly injected into the system you have that manufacturers will begin to produce more uh, you have that more people will be employed so you'd have more money in circulation which will have a multiplier effect anyway so things will begin to be will begin to get better but this will take a while so but for now we would expect to see it's going to be a bumpy ride but in the very long run towards uh, the third quarter of 2016 or 2017 we'll begin to see some sort of stability in the economy. Does it surprise you that the Manufacturers Association, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce, say, oh, yes, we applaud this new guided petrol uh, de uh, deregulation? I'm not surprised because that has been a financial strain on the nation's purse anyway. The, co the country cannot continue to um, pay for full subsidy because our import bills are extremely high. Um, oil prices are somewhat low as compared to what it was uh, two, three years ago. So there's no forex. So we can't continue. It's, it's a luxury for us right now to hold on to a full subsidy as it is. So that will give room for uh, to focus on more important, uh, important things than um, subsidizing full as it is right now. In other words, from an analyst's point of view, price of bread perhaps at 500 naira per loaf from current 230. It hasn't gone as high as 500 naira. But yes, I know. I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm looking into the <laughs> I'm looking into, I'm looking into the box and I said, well, perhaps you have another perhaps we'll go 300. It, it, could, it could get as high as that, but I think the government as well needs to focus on how to increase the purchasing or increase the purchasing power of the naira because what 100 naira buys 
well, what 100 Naira buys now is not what it, what it bought about two, three years ago. So you can see the value or the, the value of the currency is depreciating and it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's, it's really bad. So, and again, like I said, if there's increase in wages, if um, states cannot pay salaries anyway. So if, if we increase salaries uh, and if there's no proper social policies put in place, like tar uh, targeting the trip, um, biting unemployment issues that we have mm -hmm. now, really bad infrastructure, poor uh, electricity, the, the poor state of the mm -hmm. ed educational system and health uh, healthcare system, we're just, we're, we're just gonna keep going around in circles. Because okay. we need, they have to be, there has to be some sort of um, alignment between the monetary policies and uh, fis fiscal policies and social policies. Everything has to work together for us to see growth in the right direction. So the poll is out there. Are you happy with the new guided petrol deregulation? Are you pressing yes, no, or indifferent? In rea realistically, it, it, it should have been done a while ago because was that uh, a yes? It, it, it is a yes. Is a yes? Because <laughs> okay, we got a yes vote. We got a yes vote. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming in. Uh, short and sharp, straight to the point. We'll keep our eyes on the markets uh, at Akonobi from Financial Derivatives, keeping the eyes there. Inflation will be out in the next couple of days. Keep that in at the back of your mind. Main inflation data will be the one you need to watch. The central bank will have to make some decisions on the 24th of May. Those things are still ahead. We're back after the break. We're back to the guided petrol deregulation. We've got someone in here in the studio to talk to us and drill us down into that for the next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm.